Yahweh appeared to him at the oak of Mamre, while he was sitting by the entrance of the tent during the hottest part of the day. He looked up, and there he saw three men standing near him. As soon as he saw them, he ran from the entrance of the tent to meet them, and bowed to the ground. My lord, he said, I beg you, if I find favor with you, kindly do not pass your servant by. A little water shall be brought. You shall wash your feet and lie down under the tree. Let me fetch a little bread, and you shall refresh yourselves before going further. That is why you have come in your servant's direction. They replied, Do as you say. Abraham hastened to the tent to find Sarah. Hurry, he said. Knead three bushels of flour and make loaves. Then running to the cattle, Abraham took a fine tender calf and gave it to the servant, who hurried to prepare it. Then taking cream, milk, and the calf he had prepared, he laid all before them. And they ate while he remained standing near them under the tree. Where is your wife, Sarah? They asked him. She's in the tent, he replied. Then his guest said, I shall visit you again next year without fail, and your wife will then have a son. Sarah was listening at the entrance of the tent behind him. Now Abraham and Sarah were old, well on in years, and Sarah had ceased to have her monthly periods. So Sarah laughed to herself, thinking, Now that I have passed the age of childbearing and my husband is an old man, it's pleasure to come my way again. But Yahweh asked Abraham, Why did Sarah laugh and say, Am I really going to have a child now that I am old? Is anything too wonderful for Yahweh? At the same time next year, I shall visit you again and Sarah will have a son. I did not laugh, Sarah said, lying because she was afraid. But he replied, Oh, yes, you did laugh. When he went into Capernaum, a centurion came up and pleaded with him. Sir, he said, my servant is lying at home paralyzed and in great pain. I will come myself and cure him, said Jesus. The centurion replied, Sir, I am not worthy to have you under my roof. Just give the word and my servant will be cured. For I am under authority myself and have soldiers under me. And I say to one man, go, and he goes to another. Come here, and he comes to my servant, do this, and he does it. When Jesus heard this, he was astonished and said to those following him, I tell you solemnly, nowhere in Israel have I found faith like this. Go back then, you have believed. So let this be done to you. And the servant was cured at the moment.